Within on-screen takeoff, you can use typical areas for projects with repetitive spaces such as apartments, dormitories, condos, hospitals, or hotels. When using a typical area, you can set up a matrix within your bid to replicate your takeoff for a particular repeating space, such as an apartment unit type that repeats throughout the project. This replication of your quantity results happens behind the scenes, and you do not actually see color takeoff multiplied throughout your plans. To begin using typical areas, you must first go to the cover sheet within the bid. Within the cover sheet, locate the typicals field. Here, you can indicate whether this bid can use typical groups or typical areas. A bid can only be set to use one or the other, not both. For this example, select Use Typical Areas. Then, make sure you have established all your individual bid areas using the Areas field to the right. See the video on bid areas if you need assistance with setting up your bid areas. That said, you must have at least one bid area on the job to use typical areas. Once you've established your bid areas, then you can select the Typical Areas button located just underneath the Areas button. This window is where you create your matrix. Click New to add each unit or space you'd like to repeat. Give the Typical Area a name and press OK. Once you've set up each of your repeating spaces, you can then use the matrix to indicate how many occurrences of each space happen within each bid area on this job. An example of this would be indicating how many times a specific apartment unit repeats on a specific floor within a specific building. Go through the grid and enter the approximate number of occurrences for each unit in each cell until you have completed filling out the matrix. When you've completed documenting the number of occurrences for each repeating space, press OK. Then. Click OK on the cover sheet. Next, on the Image tab, navigate to a sheet with the repeating space. We recommend using enlarged detail plans for repeating units and room types when these are available. Complete the takeoff on the enlarged unit plan. If you do not have an enlarged plan, just perform the takeoff on the regular floor plan, and then move that takeoff to the margin or copy and paste it to a blank sheet. Once the takeoff is complete, Select the specified typical area for this space within the Areas drop-down at the top of the screen. Once you've selected the appropriate typical area for the unit or space on this page, notice that the takeoff is then grayed out. That merely indicates that nothing on this sheet is currently assigned to this area. To assign this takeoff to the typical area, rope around all the takeoff for the area. Then, once it's selected, right-click on it and then select Assign to Current Area. Notice that now the takeoff is in color, indicating that it has been correctly assigned to the selected area. You must repeat this process for every repeating area in the plans. So, for example, if you're working on a hotel with eight different repeating room types, you would complete this process eight separate times. Keep in mind that this is the only time you'll see colored takeoff for each of these spaces. The replication of the takeoff happens behind the scenes, and you won't see every repeated instance colored in on the plans. Once the takeoffs have been assigned to the typical area, and you've accurately indicated the number of occurrences of the typical area from within the cover sheet, you can then see the quantity results on the Takeoff tab. Within the Takeoff tab, you have some additional reporting options when using typical areas that you wouldn't have if you'd done all of the repeating takeoff manually. If you select the Takeoff plus Typical Group or Area Totals radio button at the top of the screen, the Takeoff tab then displays each of the individual typical areas you identified and the total quantity results per each unit. Then, if you scroll down, you can see total results by bid areas. All of your quantity results are available, and ideally, you're able to get them quicker and more efficiently than performing all of the repeated takeoff manually for each of these spaces throughout the whole project.